casual sex and one night stands. Some people find them exciting, irresistible. Others find casual sex disgusting, awkward, reprehensible. There are numerous myths and legends about casual sex. For example, the myth that men and women react differently to it. The truth is that quite a few studies have substantiated that men and women react to casual sex exactly the same. In the lead up to casual sex, during the act, and in its aftermath, exactly the same. My name is Sam Banin, and I'm the author of Malignant Self Love, Narcissism Revisited. Casual sex is linked to negative mental health outcomes, but only in certain kinds of people, not in everyone. People who were drunk or who were drugged during the encounter. People who acted under peer pressure and didn't feel that they had any autonomy. People with conservative or traditional or religious upbringing and a moral code that prohibits and proscribes casualness. People in societies with such mores, where sex is a sacred union between male and female. People who, via casual sex, had violated promises, boundaries, rules and vows that they have made to themselves, violated their personal integrity, or promises, boundaries, rules and vows they have made to others. People who get attached to sex partners or develop long-term expectations of a relationship following a single sexual and also people above the age of 40. These profiles of participants in casual sex are likely to experience shame, embarrassment, guilt, depression, a lower uh, self-esteem, anxiety, regret, remorse, and memory gaps following the romp. All other types of people react with excitement, satisfaction, and even pride to their reaffirmed desirability and to the modicum of palliative affection, covert attention, acceptance, fleeting intimacy, and closeness that is ineluctably involuntary casual sex. Casual sex with consent. Casual sex allows singles to regulate their sex lives and to satisfy their curiosity and their need for variety. Still, casual sex invariably involves objectifying the partner. Most true casual sex and one night stands and so on, most of it is nearly anonymous. You don't know much about the partner. All animals practice sex without intimacy or emotions, with very few exceptions. And the human animal is also not an exception. So why the righteous brouhaha about casual sex? Well, first of all, there is speciesism. The belief that humans are superior to animals and should never give in to their animal nature, but rather seek to transcend it. Speciesism is a form of grandiosity fostered originally by religious teachings, the book of Genesis. And then there's conflating and confusing lust and love, emotional intimacy with mere physical intimacy. Casual sex amounts to masturbating with the body of a nearly anonymous partner. The partner becomes an animated dildo, a sophisticated and unpredictable sex doll, replete with smells and tastes but, that, but that's it. Nothing more than that. Very little intimacy is involved in, in this act, except the physical, of the physical kind. But we have physical intimacy in numerous other settings. In a hospital, in a crowded bus, at dinner. Physical intimacy is not limited to a one-night stand. Casual sex has nothing whatsoever to do with sex in a committed, loving relationship, where it is used to express the love and the intimacy underlying it. 
And the third reason uh, we are so concerned with casual sex is because being in love, because, of, because some people are in love with infatuation itself. They are addicted to falling in love. Some people fall in love with their sexual partners even after a single one-night stand. And this complicates matters and leads to heartbreak that is best avoided altogether. I am bothered by, sexual, by casual sex, but I've, I'm bothered by it only recently. I've had my share of casual sex. I'm bothered by it because it worries me that casual sex has become the norm. I think it's very bad and sick that hookups have become the standard practice, that there is a hookup culture among those born after 1995. Why am I bothered by that? Because it may affect the ability of these people to form meaningful, intimate relationships further down the road when they grow up. The jury is still out on this. There are no studies to substantiate this connection. But I strongly and intuitively suspect that if you spend your entire teens and twenties banging people about whom you know nothing or close to nothing, in casual settings of one-night stands, not seeing them afterwards, not concerned with their fate, their history, or their future, I strongly suspect it will be difficult for you to form meaningful intimate relationships with other people when the time comes and when you really want it. I also think that casual sex definitely predisposes the members of these generations to regard sex as nothing more significant than other bodily functions. That is substantiated by research. It renders them way more prone to cheating, adultery, deceiving your partner. Indeed, cheating is up dramatically among both genders in these groups. It also predisposes them to reckless sexual behaviors linked to substance abuse, such as alcoholism or coke addiction or whatever. So, Emotionless casual sex is not the problem. The problem is its preponderance. The problem is that we are beginning to know only this kind of sex. We are beginning to practice only this kind of sex. It's not the act itself. It's what the act says about us.